Hey everyone, so today I am doing a lip swatch video, but this time instead of doing like a bunch of lipsticks, I'm actually doing a lip palette. The best thing about this is it is so affordable. It's by the brand BH Cosmetics and it is called the Ultimate Lips 28 Color Lipstick Palette. I've never used this before, it's sort of like a first impression as well, but I'm going to swatch all of the shades for you today. And I'll also let you know what I think of the formula and everything. I've already just before looked up reviews online and a lot of people seem to really like it. Heaps of people are saying it's like amazing pigmentation, really easy to apply. On the website it goes for $12.95, although at the moment they've got 15% off. I guess it just depends like when you catch the sales. I'll put a link to this palette down below in the description bar if you're interested in checking it out. But uh, I just want to like jump into it, so let's go. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's got a nice frosted clear lid which is handy because you can actually see all the colours without having to like open it up. Highly pigmented lip shades that range from nudes to deep reds. You'll find a shade for every occasion. Shades can be worn sheer and natural or layered for a bold and dramatic look. You can also custom blend a shade for an original look that stands out among the rest. I never thought of that, you could definitely mix them as well. Anyway, let's do this. Oh, it looks so pretty and new, I don't want to touch it, look at it. <laughs> so I am just going to start from that first colour and then just work my way across because obviously the shades don't have certain names so, I don't know, starting with this one. Oh, it's a lot um, creamier than I thought it would be, like I dipped my brush in and it literally just has the texture of a normal lipstick, like it's really really creamy. For some reason I thought that'd be really hard and like waxy but... They're really not, oh my gosh. Okay, already, these are so much more pigmented than I ever thought they would be. Like, people online were saying they were pigmented, but I don't know. I just had different expectations in my head. Like, you know normally um, lip products that are like this, they're always kind of waxy and sheer. These feel like a lipstick. They don't feel glossy or anything, they just feel like lipstick. You could use your finger to apply these as well. I'm just using a brush for a little bit of extra um, control. I absolutely love this shade. It's such a pretty like pinky nude. So from that very first shade, I'm already pretty impressed. It's not sticky at all. It feels quite smooth and almost slippery. I'm not sure how long they'll last on the lips, although it does say that they're long wearing, so. The formula is really nice. It feels very moisturizing and you can't see um, any fine lines on my lips that have been like amplified or anything if you know what I mean like it's really kind of hidden the lines in my lips because they are quite dry at the moment yeah super moisturizing super creamy so now I'm going in with this shade here this looks like a my lips but better kind of nude color this color is beautiful as well it's like the perfect kind of nude that doesn't wash me out at all it's like my lips but better now onto this shade here This shade is very similar to the last one, except it's a little bit more brown. I really like it as well. I'm loving these deeper kind of nudes for autumn, winter. Next one across. So this colour here is a really pale peachy nude. It reminds me a lot of Myth by MAC. I do find that the super light colours like this one need a little bit more product just to prevent them from going a little bit streaky. I think it's just because it's such a light colour, it doesn't hold so much pigment. So you really need to make sure that you put on enough so it doesn't look all like patchy. Once it's built up though, I really like the finish. It's a really really pretty nude, especially if you're a little bit paler. The next one along looks like a darker kind of pinky nude. It looks quite similar to this shade back here. So let's try it out. Okay, it's a little bit lighter than that other shade actually. It's a similar colour though. So there's that one. I feel like it's a little bit less glossy than the others. It still does have a glossy finish though. It's just not as high shine as those other ones. And I feel like it's a little bit paler than that one there. The next one across is a similar shade, just a little bit darker. It looks a little bit more berry tone as well. This colour is beautiful. It reminds me a lot of the Kylie Jenner kind of colour trend. It's like the perfect kind of terracotta nude. It's so pretty. This is definitely my favourite so far, which I wasn't expecting. Like it looks really like eh in the pan, but oh my gosh, it looks so good. Next up looks like a deep kind of wine berry colour. I'm so excited about this one. What am I doing? Like what is up with this application right now? Okay, ignore the awful application. I don't know what happened to me just now. This color is beautiful. It reminds me so much of my favorite Inglot lipstick, which I used in a tutorial not too long ago. The perfect deep berry 
Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful for winter. This is like my favorite kind of color to wear if I'm gonna go for quite a dark, bold lip. Just a deep berry, like raspberry color. It is so pretty. Now I'm gonna go into this color here, which looks like a really nice kind of nude peach color. This one has a little bit of like a white kind of bounce back, so it looks really, really glossy and really pretty. Makes your lips look quite full. Next up is a fun hot pink. I'm excited about this one. Honestly, right now, I am so impressed. This color is beautiful. It's like Barbie pink. Honestly, like, I don't know what I was expecting from this palette, but it wasn't this. This color is another favorite, for sure. Next up is a really dark kind of coral orange. This pigmentation. Another beautiful color. It's like the perfect kind of spring orange coral. I love this combination as well. Like the deep kind of warm brown eyes and then the bright pop of color on the lip. Super pretty. Okay, so next up is it's a bright red. It's a little bit warm toned. It's not a cool tone red. It's definitely got a little bit of orange in there. These bright colors definitely have even more pigment than those light colors. It's absolutely stunning. Like I cannot fault any of these colors right now. It is just the perfect bright red with a little bit of orange in it, which I like because I feel like it complements my undertones. It actually reminds me so much of YSL Lit Orange, which is number 13, I believe. Yep, it's almost dead on. This is YSL Orange. It's the Rouge Pure Couture number 13. And it is so similar to this color. Next up we have another red, but it's a little bit darker and less vibrant. So that's the color I'm wearing now. It is the perfect classic red. A little bit less bright, so if you don't like that super bright look like the previous red, this one is a little bit more toned down, a little bit more classic, a little bit more sophisticated. Next up is another darker kind of berry red. Okay, so it's not actually as dark as it looks in the tube. It's almost more, or oh, not tube, pan, I guess. It's almost like a bit of a stained look. Like it's a little bit, sh not even sheer, like it's not sheer. How would I describe this color? It's like super, super glossy and still bright. It's almost just like a glossier version of that previous color. It's not as dark as it looks. I'm starting to look like I've stabbed someone. <laughs> and now on to that darkest color in the row. So this color is more like a slightly deeper raspberry red. I'm a little bit bummed that the colors don't come off as dark like that's the one I'm wearing right now. I'm a little bit bummed they don't come off that dark, but the colors are really pretty regardless. So I guess it just depends what you want. Now moving on to the third row, I'm starting with these lighter colors and working my way up. This color is beautiful. It is the perfect light pink without looking too like garish. It's quite neutral, quite soft, quite romantic looking. This color is absolutely perfect. Next up we have this shade here which looks a little bit more nude. So this color here is just a really, really baby pink. I don't know how I feel about it on my complexion. I feel like it would look a little bit nicer on someone that's a little bit paler because I have quite a lot of fake tan on right now. The next one across is this really soft kind of pinky purpley color. Again, it's almost like a My Lips But Better but a little bit more purpley lilac-y pinky. Beautiful color, so easy to wear. It's just so like neutral looking I guess. It's not too dark, it's not too pale, it doesn't wash me out, it's just the perfect amount of colour on my lips. Next up is a slightly darker kind of purplish colour. I do feel like it's similar to some of the other shades but it's pretty nonetheless. Next again a slightly darker colour. So that is that colour. It is a little bit less pink than the last one. It's a little bit more like, not brown, maybe a little bit brown, like a little bit neutral, a little bit terracotta. Now we're up to this shade here. This color seems very similar to those other ones, except to be honest, this one's more of a creamy finish rather than a glossy finish. Again, stunning color. Now we're on the last one of this row here.
And again, just like the last one, it is quite creamy rather than glossy like some of those other colors. And this one's a little bit more kind of pinky reddish than the last shade I just swatched. Now we're on the home run for the last row. I'm going to start with this color here, but just looking at it, I'm suspecting this is more of a top coat. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's got like a bunch of glitter in it and it looks just quite clear. So I'm guessing that this is more of a gloss to like put on top of the other colors just to add, you know, some dimension. It has big chunks of silver glitter in it. I'm not sure if you can see. When I move my head around in the light, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's like quite big. It's almost like a foil effect. And my lip is bleeding. I only just noticed. Lip swatch videos. Killing Shanexo's lips since like 2011 or 12. I don't know. I'm sorry lip, you still have some more work to do. Next I'm going into this shade here, which is like a medium neutral pink. Beautiful. As you can see, again, this is quite a creamy finish. Super pretty color. It's just a really nice standard pink just to chuck on. We'll go with any makeup look. Next up is this shade here. It looks a little bit cooler toned and a little bit paler. So that's what that color looks like. It's definitely more cool toned. And so it looks quite out there on my skin tone. Like it really, I don't know, it's like quite bright. Next up, we have a bright violet purple. Oh my goodness, this color is so fun. And I don't feel like it makes my teeth look too yellow. Love it. Definitely another favorite of mine. The next one across is a slightly pinker kind of purpley color. New favorite. Oh my gosh. This color is to die for. It's the perfect pinky, purpley, mostly pink, vibrant, neon, bright amazing color. We're on the second to last color. It's a slightly darker pink than the last color. I am a big fan of this color. It is so pretty. I think it's quite wearable. It's like the perfect bright daytime lip color. Like it's not out there, but it's still like brighter and more vibrant than a normal pink, I guess. And then the last color is another purple. This one looks a little bit more cooler toned, so let's see how it goes. Oh, it's actually like a lip gloss again. Okay, I didn't think I was gonna like this, but I do. This color here that I've got on has like the same kind of texture as this, like it's a very balmy gloss. It's not sticky at all, but it's definitely a gloss, but it's got the perfect amount of pigmentation in it. It almost looks like leather like pleather like shiny pleather leather i think this would look so cool on a photo shoot or something like high fashion okay now on to how i feel about this palette i think you guys can already guess that i am so impressed honestly my expectations like were like kind of in the middle i was like oh you know it's probably just gonna be good for like beginners or like whatever my expectations like they are not here they are like way up here i think this would be perfect obviously for beginners because it's such a good price you get so many colors you can mix your colors the only thing with a beginner is it's a little bit harder to apply obviously because especially the darker colors you do want to use something like a lip brush just to get a really precise line so it may take a little bit of practice but it is the perfect thing to purchase to use for practice because it is just quite frankly It's just like really really great I think this would also be great for people like makeup artists for in their kit If you're doing like a fun photo shoot or something you've got like all the colors you need You can mix them together The only reason I think it wouldn't be practical is it's not so good to take on the go with you like in your handbag or anything It's a little bit tricky But I mean if you just love playing with makeup and you want to experiment with a bunch of shades it is the perfect perfect solution for you. If you are not a fan of glossy lipsticks and creamy lipsticks, like if you only like matte lips, this isn't a matte palette. So it's definitely not for anyone that only wears matte lipstick. However, you guys know how much I love glossy lipsticks, so it's perfect for me. I am incredibly impressed. So yeah, that's my first impression and swatch video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please thumbs up. Help me out if you enjoyed it. Feel free to share it on your social media. I hope you guys have the best day ever and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye! It helps to again like kind of tighten up my pores. It helps to get rid of any gunk off my skin, etc, etc. It's really, really great. The Cult Classic Glam Glow. This is the Super Mud Clearing Treatment. Great for if you have any acne. Okay, and then for lips. Um, what have I not used yet? I've chosen this color here. This is called Pink Pucker by Elizabeth Arden. I feel like it might go quite nicely and I might add like a lighter gloss on.